Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Chinvala and it's a classic, classic Chinvala where she trolls you the whole game, not giving you elementals, but it doesn't matter. Why? Why didn't it matter? Because this meta isn't about minions. It isn't about playing the game fair. It's about getting a broken card, one of those spell generators, and then just popping off turn after turn after turn after turn of snowballing effects dominates this game right now. And it makes pretty big boards very quickly. All right, enjoy. That's the life that we lead. All right, demons in, pirates in for Shutterwalk. Elementals are in for Chinvala. Beasts are in for Galewing. Honestly, all fine heroes. Galewing's much more feast or famine, right? Three on three lines and beast lobbies are very hit or miss, but they're free wins when you hit it. Shutterwalk looking at economy. What do you think about agency in general for the patch? I mean, choices matter. But Feast or Famine metas are always lower agency in any individual game. Curator is fun. All right, fair enough. I don't think he's very good, but you have a little amalgam. That's kind of cool. They're always a little lower, but not... Oh my god. Wait. Honestly, you should roll. The game bugged out. We can't take advantage of a bug. That wouldn't be honest. The game gave us a Sullivan tool on Shinvala. We did it! We did! Yo, Smithers, thank you so much for the six months, man. Yeah, in general, agency's a little lower in these metas. But this is a mini game, guys. Let's let's be fucking real here. We're in week two of a new system being added where they fundamentally changed the core mechanics of the game. Balance has never been worse for minions. It's pretty much the equivalent of when they added Naga to the game and Siren was winning every lobby. It's just the spell generators are the new siren. That's what it is right now. We're playing a mini game mode for week one. Or week two or whatever. They couldn't patch this week because Masters Tour is this weekend, apparently. They didn't push a deployed patch, is what somebody was saying. That was said on Twitter or whatever. That the Masters, Grandmasters or whatever is, is this weekend. So they aren't doing the patch until next week or whenever it might be. We don't have an official date. Yeah, I mean... I feel like there's dozens of cards that could be tweaked. There's a bunch of cards that could be tweaked with the new, like, this mode should be relatively stable for like four months. This is the perfect time to start changing heroes. This is the perfect time to start changing minions that are weaker, right? Like, think about these kind of minions. A Scallywagon outlier for one star? Could this be stronger? Could it be weaker? Like, they could tweak a lot of things right now. It's the perfect time to do it. And I'm not, I'm not losing my mind over bad RNG on a Feast or Famine meta. It reminds me of when Doomsayer was on three and like everybody went three on three and whoever found the Doomsayer won the game on the spot. Huh? But I'm Chinvala. Chinvala doesn't buy this card. Three on three it is. Three on three, it is not. What was Doomsayer? Doomsayer at the time was a 2-6 body that read Avenge 3, put a random demon in your hand. So the card was quite literally printing full demon comps. <laughs> Avenge 3, give yourself a demon. They nerfed it to Tavern 4 and made it Avenge 4 in the same patch. Like it was so off, it was nuts. Reno was going three on three, golding the minion, and then just having four demons in a turn type of thing, leveling straight to the moon. It was silly. It was flat out ludicrous how imbalanced that card was. And that's not not that far off of how broken Sporebat is if you find it first. It's not as it's not as easy to navigate. That's the big thing. Is that this meta definitely doesn't have really really easy pivotable i high rolled i win the game lines missed one hp on demon true could have played it first part of me doesn't want to level all right i think that part of me is gonna win we're under tempoed for the turn roll there's no way in hell we roll we're not giving up gold like that See, so you buy a minion or you don't buy a minion. Those are your choices. And against this, I don't think we level. I don't want to hemorrhage here. 
We're just banking a gold for later in the form of the minion plus tempo for the moment. This was an auto L had we leveled. And the upside's so low. Augers? Elemental. Trying to map out how I'm leveling here. I think that's the best way of doing it. We bank for gold for later and more tempo now. We try to win an overconfidence draw here because of it. And then we just convert this into two minions if we can win. If we can't, that kind of sucks, but we should be pretty strong at the moment. Checked him out, see what he had. Hero power didn't give any acceleration in combination with no triples at this point, leveling normal curve. We should be a slightly stronger board. Hear that card's good. I think we buy the spore bat. I think we buy the spore bat. I think we roll. I think we roll. Birds? That's a six star. But I lose a magnet. <laughs> That's a cute card. It still has a little lightning bolt. whole like non-elementals thing is kind of annoying hope the lightning prox it's a gas coiler that gives out magnetics in hand it's evolved the fucking snake has become has become a card giver to us oh it, it bugged it didn't give it to us there's our elementals dope free money No more spore bats. Gas coiler can spit out spore bats too. There aren't that many death rattles on Tavern 3 and below. You're a mech now, Harry. You're a wizard, gas coiler. Bro. Just... One time, an elemental. <laughs> Come on, video game. I just want to have a discount to my leveling curve. Now you're just trolling. Now you're just fucking trolling. The only four star on the board is the like one of the best elementals in the game. Now you're just a fucking troll now, aren't you, Bob? This thing can evolve into another six too? Be nice if we had a hero power. You know what? It sure would. I think I'm just gonna sit still. I think I'm gonna take my lumps for a round. Nah. We just wait the turn. The value's just not there. You go you, you, and then somehow have played the wrath of this so we could sell the elemental, that'd be cool, but we don't have the gold. Let's just take an L. Not that bad. We're at 38 health. This is that moment you do the cope health as a resource. Sporbet! Bro, they're just one star death rattles. Why can't you just be good? It's 
supposed to give me nice things, not bad things. Rap God, Rap God, Rap God. Nala? Got a pretty good menagerie board going. Any consideration on evolving something? I like these two now. I realize this is overlap here, but not that bad. Yeah, that one. That one right there. Yep. Yes, sir. That one right there will do just fine. Now we gotta live. Do we just get a landlubber? Because it's too expensive now. A lot of stats for the turn. We don't roll that many times. This thing is incentivizing us to buy cards, not not roll. It's a it's not super anti synergy, but there's definitely some level of anti synergy there. Great cleave. Wonderful cleave. You also got a great cleave. A wonderful cleave. Hey Bob. We're gonna have a have a conversation about the contents of your gas coilers. They are leaving a lot to be desired. Still have a damage cap. Very, very, very tieable round or winnable round. We just had a kind of a bad combat there. Okay. Okay. Well. Naturally. The turtle that we need, not the turtle that we deserve. Almost like the, the health here. As we go here, we go here. We taunt up two so that we can get value from the Fur Reaper. Probably still the spell. The gold ramifications of it matter too. Health on pirate's quite good. It's uh, 12 health on the pirate versus a 8-4 buff on our board. That's the trade-off there. But more importantly than, than that trade-off, there's the 3 gold for the following turns that we gain. That's a full extra card played next turn. So if it's cyclable, it's one and a half cards. Okay. Just just don't do me like this. Give me a little bit of a breather. A little slight hiatus on the RNG. All right. That's pretty good. Pretty okay. Allows us to trim down damage potentially. It's actually really good. Just hit here. Oh, you beautiful bastard, you. And that can still allow us to, uh, to survive if we get spells that give armor. Missed ghost, unfortunately. Mm, this is a, kind of a hard take. It's free. You're right, it's free. Not a hard take. It's free. Yeah. Silly Bofer. Tricks are for kids.
Hard take, bold take. That was a bald take right there. Not very good on this board for what's worth, but we're just too fair, you know? Just too fair. Just too honest. We're putting in too too honest of a day's work over here with our board. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Seen worse. Seen worse. Okay. Actually on board with this. Guys, we're scamming. Fucking scamming. The scam is alive and well. Uh-huh. 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 Down goes one. Yes, sir. Oh, we are so scamming. We are such scammers. Let's fucking go. Gas Coiler finally pulled his weight. <laughs> we lost. <laughs> we don't die, though. Still lost, though, unfortunately. We're such scammers. Still loses. All right, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I think we'll look at the hero power early. Got a spore bent. We find it for this. This is trash. This is probably trash. Need barracks. Barracks would be pretty good on a board at the end. Could also be if this, we think this is the end of the game. That's Matador in Nala's place. Or just way too fair. I mean, he's looking kind of weak and shit. You sure it's not just greeted again? He is kind of looking weak, I, I, I. Always assume your opponent is pathetic. That's the lesson we've learned here today. Always be overconfident. Uh huh. <laughs> Spells. All right, well, at least we get one spell. We got a Nala, something to keep in mind, true. True, 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 true. Might even be worth taking because we have the bird. The bird's not very valuable. 
Just take it up front. What about golden? There's something on that board that we want to gold other than Nala. Coiler. Just golden because it can... Okay. Yeah. Golden in this scenario because it can actually create a triple too. It can create a triple, he says. It could just be the Nala. Pretty expensive. We have to sell something on this board. Is that it for the coils? No. Um. I think we'll just bumper faux reaper here. Or just cleave off this. No, this one. There you go. Actually, double cleave was clutch there. It gave us two 50 50s to kill it. Hey, wait, never mind. It wasn't just a bumper, it was super useful. It was a game winner. Bramble? Yeah, I don't use it, so so sure I could take it. And yeah, maybe better against this guy. I was thinking I use Lubber the next turn. If I'm not gonna use it this turn, then it's kind of silly. Exact board. Don't care about any of that. Probably should do this early then. Casual reroll. the evolved tavern something with fives or sixes in it guy here guy here guy here just shoe i don't have any ellies got a demon which is okay i guess considering that we buffed the tavern a whole bunch stick and now after all of that we finally play a balladist we were waiting we we're biding our time to find the right place to play the balladist cool 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 cool, cool. this guy played the entire game on four i don't know what that board's gonna be could have a 300 attached cleave and demon beautiful and it's a W might have been the most fair game of spell stuff we've done in a long time but one seafarer just carried us through that game 
card is just dumb. This can't exist on five and be this card. <laughs> like literally just handed us free spells over and over again. 